One of Europe's leading 3D technology events, the Imagine Affair, has wrapped up in Monaco. Prizes were awarded in various categories, including an audience favorite, the short film category, which went to French animation Babiol. Featuring all the latest in 3D technology, some 1,700 exhibitors from more than 40 countries attended the fair, which was inaugurated by Prince Albert of Monaco. In a bid to stand out from other 3D technology fairs, Imagina tries to bring together industries that use 3D not only to generate revenue, but also to improve services and healthcare. This year at Imagina, we're given a chance to get some exercise through virtual reality. With its new Kinect, Microsoft makes a move into the next generation of motion controllers. Equipped with both infrared and standard cameras, it receives commands without users having to even touch a game controller. This year's event was also an opportunity for developers to show their progress in the medical field. As part of the 2011 Imagine Affair, we wanted to develop a new field of activity, 3D for medical purposes. So we have several new exhibitors and a full day dedicated to conferences, because 3D is a real tool for training and decision making in this field. Toshiba and Hitachi introduced two very advanced 3D echography devices. Developers call them 4D, time being the fourth dimension. The device enables users to capture uncannily realistic pictures of an unborn baby in a fraction of a second. Computer graphic cards manufacturer NVIDIA presented its new software which reads the result of a body scan. Rendering different layers of the body in a very realistic manner, this technology allows doctors to separately see the skin, blood vessels and bones. Will this technology allow us to better identify illnesses? Yes, because 3D gives us much better visibility than two dimensions in space, especially in relation to other organs. Also, we have better data quality thanks to higher resolution, so that means a better diagnosis. French company Immersion introduced its 3D multi-touch collaborative screen, which allows two users to move the same picture and see it from two different angles. Cameras allow the system to locate the users who have to wear special glasses. This other exhibit showed how visitors to the historic site of the Abbey of Cluny in central France can now take a virtual reality tour around the destroyed building. Cluny was one of Europe's biggest basilicas before its destruction following the French Revolution. Now, thanks to 3D reconstruction imagery, visitors taking a walk around the ruins can get a feel of what it felt like for the monks living there more than two centuries ago. Advances in the field of hologram technology were also on display at the fair. Holograms, which have been around since the 1960s, have progressed considerably since the 80s thanks to low-cost lasers used in devices such as DVD players. And finally, picking up the Imagina Award for Best Special Effects in the Digital Entertainment category, this movie by human rights group Amnesty International. Featuring a series of melting wax figures, the film is the organization's latest commercial against the death penalty.